Hi people. So, I'm finally making a video again after I got sick. Um, I'm still coughing a little bit, but I'm otherwise fine. Anyway, so, got my VIC-20 out, this little TV. Got the modulator connected. Uh, but what I'm actually going to be showing off is uh, my oscilloscope. I dragged it out from storage. Uh, still works, and I made some probes for it. Here, I'll show one of those off. I'll grab this one because the other one is hard to get off. Um, so, what I did is uh, I don't have any BNC connectors like that. So, I have a uh, clip lead goes into this thing that's already attached to this wire. Uh, and then, I don't know if you can see that, but I bent the wire back over itself. It's a pretty thick wire. Uh, and then I can stick that into the uh, BNC connector. I can dexterity, and if I and then I can push it in instead of bending it, and then bam, it's in. Uh, and now I have a uh, probe hooked up to my scope. So I will connect this back here, and then we'll be good. So just so you know, uh, this uh, these probes are absolutely terrible. They act like little uh, little antennas. Uh, they have no resistors or capacitors or anything. They're just straight through. Uh, they're really awful, but they work. So, yeah. Um, there we go. It's warming up. I just was using it a bit. So, yeah. Uh, to make sure it warmed up quick. Uh, if you turn this, you get nice orange glow. It illuminates this. I don't tend to use that, so I just leave that off. Uh, I got my focus set about right. Um, that happens with these probes. Whenever they're shaken, it can have a bad connection. Um, the scope also sometimes just does stuff. Uh, brightness, turn it up really light or really dim. It's pretty cool. Um, yes, this uh, on the screen, like glowing, is uh, in visible in person. So yeah, uh, now I will turn my TV on and get my VIC-20 going. This is my parts VIC-20, as you can see by the keyboard, it is somewhat jank, and also this up here. Um, so yeah, I'll have that on. Bam, it's going. You can see it going. Um, so let's see it on the uh, see it on the scope here. So. Now that uh, was going, it's kind of flickering here, but I've turned the brightness up a bit for you. So uh, I'll turn it on so you can see. There we go. And bam, there's the uh, screen. Um, let's see. Uh, on one of these lower settings, you can kind of see it's really receptive. Oh man, I can't find it. I think it's like here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was fiddling around with this uh, a bit ago, and uh, there was some down here that was really receptive to the cursor flashing, but only in, like, this area if there was just uh, a blank around it. So, yeah. I don't know what that was about. Um, so, uh, here we go. That's what a uh, video signal looks like. Uh, it You can kind of see the... Uh, borders and sync pulses and such you can kind of see that's the area there. there's a very subtle cursor flashing you can it's like basically like ghosting uh, you can very barely see the characters on the screen there um, this does not look nearly that bright in person um, you know, yeah you can kinda, oh, whoops don't short that to ground that's the brightest you can go. Uh, so yeah, there's the same pulses, and then here's the that over there. Looks pretty neat. Uh, so I'll turn that down, put that back, put that back to that brightness. And now I'm going to quickly write a uh, program over here, uh, so you can see what's going on on here. So uh, I'm gonna try to type with one hand, so it might be a tad slow here. Uh, 10 P R I N T A uh, exclamation point. Okay, and then 20 go to 10. Okay, there we go. That's our program we're going to be running. 
uh, and you will see a visual change here on the scope when I hit run and you'll see the screen fill up with A's over there uh, you can see it slowly uh, filling up with A's and it's uh, bouncing up and down with that going on at the bottom of the screen here um, so I will uh, run stop restore hold on I need two hands for this there we go um, so I'll run stop restore and then run that again so you can see what's going on over here it just fills the screen with A's um, so yeah now there's more to this scope it's pretty cool there's another uh, there's another channel uh, it's a two channel scope <coughs> sorry so yeah it's a two channel scope uh, and that one has the uh, audio on it I believe uh, it should it had more on it last time I don't know I really hope my clip hasn't come off um, but yeah so I'm gonna try to write another short program to demonstrate that one uh, I don't really need to have both of these on screen so I'll just turn that off and we can more uh, get that one more centered here hmm. there's a lot more uh, a lot less effect than that one so weird hmm okay so yeah um <laughs> so we'll write another little program this one's a bit longer uh we're gonna do 10 poke um three six eight yeah eight seven eight comma fifteen twenty uh, A equals 127, 30, poke, 3, 6, 8, 7, 5, comma, uh, A, 40, uh, A equals A plus 1, uh, 50, if A equals 255, then uh, go to 20, and then 60, go to 30. Okay, there. And so, uh, I have my TV volume up a little bit here, so, uh, if I run, you'll hear the sound, um, rising and then it resets. Um, there we go. Um, so I will show that on the scope now. Um, so I'll hit run again. You can see those slowly closing in and then uh, when it resets. And then there's one which is uh, pretty neat. Um, if I slow that down a bit, you get a uh, kind of oscilloscope view of it. Uh, it is very flickery. It does not have horizontal hold, really. Um, it's like if vertical hold is off, but for horizontal, it's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, but you can see it slowly shrinking in. Um, so yeah, I really should, uh, figure out a way to reset this thing without, um, uh, I really should figure out a way to reset this thing without, um, having to use two hands, because you have to press run, stop, and restore at the same time. Also, oscilloscopes make for a really great, uh, persistence of vision explanation. So you see the dot, uh, on the screen. Uh, and then the faster it goes, just, uh, eventually, you can't really tell that it's a dot anymore, it just looks like a solid line, which I find pretty interesting. Um, and that's all the way cranked up. Um, so yeah, 
uh, that's about all I wanted to show. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll have some use for this scope um, in the near uh, future uh, for something. I don't know. Uh, I have a scope now. Interestingly, it has a sticker here that says it was... Oh man, that, that can't focus at all. Uh, it says... Uh, it was last calibrated on April 9th, 1991, and that it is due to be calibrated on uh, October 9th, 1991. Um, okay. Um, and from the component dates inside here, this thing is from 1975. So someone really got their use uh, out of their Philips PM3232. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and this thing makes a great sound where it, when it powers off. I don't know if you can even hear that.